after the assassination of a, a dear friend of mine. Um, his name is Tofrik Ben Saud. Um, he was assassinated at age of, before he turns 18 actually, a couple of months before that. Um, at that time, I think I reached to a level. I was already working on civil society and as an activist for four years, but, but seeing things not really moving forward on ground or getting any better in terms of the results that we wanted to see um, made me a bit doubt in terms of um, is it really worth to sacrifice many things from my personal life that will influence um, my education, career and, and the job itself. Um, but then actually after this incident, um, I became more aware that um, if those people, um, the ones who are working against, um, actually I would call human rights, democracy um, and development in general, if those people decided to go down the street and go after a young boy who's, who is not even 18 yet um, and, and kill him as a person, um, then then what we are doing is actually making a change. Those that we are the ones who's, who's standing in front of them, not holding a weapon, but, but yet um, they see something, um, they see us as a threat. And, and that means for me that, um, that the work that we do is actually um, making a success on ground, even if we are not seeing it. But it strengthens us um, on, on a way that, um, as I said, just, just seeing the other group who are much powerful in terms of the actual power, power that they hold in their hands, um, looking at us as, as equal in terms of power, um, that, that make us want to continue. Um, but, but also in terms, I guess, after this accident, I also realized that what I do is more of a personal thing. Um, because whenever we talk about women's rights or human rights and development, we tend to we tend to make it see like we want to change a community, we want to help other people, and we don't look at it as we are helping ourselves. Um, but after this an, uh, an, um, accident, I realized that no, um, what I'm doing is more of personal than than I thought it is, and it wouldn't be easy just to to drop it, you know. I'm a project manager for a network called 1325 Network in Libya. Um, it's a network that uh, it is actually administrated and funded by an organization called Together We Build It. Um, so this network consists of around 22 civil society organizations, local organizations from different parts of Libya, um, mainly women's groups. Um, so we gathered together to work on the topic as specific of women, peace and security. So basically what we do is um, we work on raising awareness and promoting um, that women should be in the, the inclusion of women in the peace building process. Um, that's more of an international level, um, but we also advocate for women to be included by the international community in the peace negotiations um, and the national dialogue that it's taking place at the moment. From what I'm seeing at the moment, um, um, when we talk about adopting a gender perspective in conflict, all what they are doing is they are giving funds or they, they, they are doing this through civil society. So they are focusing on one part um, of the resolution, which is actually, yes, um, um, empower and create more space for women who are working on ground for peace building. Um, but there's also another very important part, which is um, the inclusion in a political level, in a diplomatic level. Well, I think everyone in this life, every human being have this um, inner struggle of and, and many basic questions, who you are, what are you doing this in, in this life, etc, etc. Um, but I think the most reward feeling that I get is that I, I got to a conclusion where where I decided to focus on my inner side. So I consider myself as I'm um, in this life, I'm the project. Um, it's not more of um, in this life, I'm, I'm here to create something else or to, you know, to, to get a business or, or in that term. Not that I'm against that, um, but, but I'm on, only talking from, from my personal perspective. Um, so I would say it's the feeling of knowing that you are doing the right thing. Um, and, and holding into a one principle that, that you think it's not breakable. Um, and, and I think that, in, that itself, it's very challenging, but, but when you see yourself going through, through that and succeeding, um, you, you simply be happy with that.